With that being said, what I'm going to do, right? For for this just example, um, I found an offer. Uh, I'm not gonna scroll down to actually find it, but it's called Yoga Burn. This is what it looks like. One yoga strategy to a fast metabolism. And then it has $37, $57. And then um, what I did is I leveraged ClickFunnels. There's gonna be a resources section down below if you're watching this on YouTube to where you guys can actually get a free trial with ClickFunnels um, to actually build out these funnels. And then what I did is I built out this landing page, right? Basically weird yoga trick that speeds up metabolism and forces your body to lose annoying extra body fat. And then where should we send your free report? The reason why we're sending people to this landing page is because we're gonna go ahead and actually capture these emails. And once we capture these emails, uh, we're going to basically start building an, uh, an email list and with this email list is basically people who are interested obviously in losing weight so we're going to basically build an audience of people who know like and trust us that we're going to go ahead and be able to actually um, monetize later on now this is the actual link that we're going to be promoting however the question is how do we actually promote this link how do we get extremely targeted traffic to this landing page um, to start building that email list so that way, basically, what, what I forgot to mention here, let's actually go through the funnel, let's see if it's uh, connected. Okay, it's not connected right now, but on, on the back end of this uh, sales funnel, we're gonna go ahead and basically have this affiliate offer, and, and basically, a portion of the people will buy up front, then the second half of the people will actually buy on the back end, right? Now, how do we actually get people to this page? Now, this is the method that I'm gonna go ahead and basically teach you from start to finish, right? Now, well, what I would highly recommend is creating a niche based uh, affiliate marketing review page, right? So, um, or YouTube review channel. And I'm gonna explain from start to finish what exactly that means, right? Now, basically, the best way, right, is if you go to the back office of ClickBank and you go to the Gravity Score, right? Um, for example, Flat Belly Fix literally has 229 Gravity Score. What that means is that 229 affiliates have made money with this product within the last week. Now, not only that, right, there's a lot of people who are promoting this and do not know how to actually promote affiliate products, right? All that means is that this affiliate offer is getting so many, like thousands upon thousands of impressions online. Now, what does that mean, right? If, for example, there's two types of people who actually make a, a buying decision. The first person is the type of person who, when they come across an affiliate offer, they say, okay, um, I'm impulsive, I wanna go and buy this now. There's the second type of person, like myself, so I do my research, I do my due diligence, I don't just pull the trigger, I need to go ahead and see if this is legitimate or not. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is two types of things. People are either gonna go to like a blogs or YouTube. Video's easier for me to consume, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally go ahead and go on YouTube and type in what are, what are you going to type in? I'm going to show you what I would type in. So I'll go to YouTube and I'll type in flat belly fix review. Now, this is basically what's going on, right? The first person who types in flat belly fix, uh, no, the first person who just buys impulsively, those are the people, great, we're not worried about them. We're worried about that small group of people who are a little bit skeptical and they want to see if it's legitimate before they make a purchase. So what's going to happen is, they're literally going to go ahead and find a video, right? And if you notice, this was uh, produced uh, a month ago. This has 21 day flat belly flex review and bonus. Watch this before buying. So one month ago, this guy has a thousand views. Now guys, understand, these thousand people who view this product are not people who are just interested in weight loss or not people, these people are literally reviewing the product before they make a buying decision. So this is extremely targeted traffic. So, with that being said, what you're gonna do is you're literally gonna go ahead, that small group of people who don't buy but who, who are a little bit skeptical and who wanna kinda find out whether this is legitimate products or not, you're gonna go ahead and basically steal that traffic and basically be able to promote your own offers. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain in a second, right? Now, first and foremost, if you guys wanna do research on an actual affiliate marketing review uh, channel, I'm not gonna go that much into depth, but one of my favorites, um, and the most authentic people is I Poop Cash. I know it sounds crazy, but this is an affiliate marketing review, affiliate marketing review channel, solely channel. So understand guys, this isn't about creating a YouTube channel. This is creating a channel specifically for reviews. And it's a niche based channel, right? It's I Poop Cash. 
And basically the niche is wealth, right? They're in the wealth niche, one of the big three. An example could be like weight loss uh, reviews or something like that. You create some sort of things or romance reviews or whatever, right? Within a specific niche, you create a YouTube channel, they're gonna start publishing content reviewing these products, right? Now, basically, an example, here, here's the method within its entirety, right? There's gonna be two types of reviews you're gonna be doing, right? Now, the first thing that I wanna go ahead and let you know is that you want to be transparent, you wanna be authentic, because if you do not follow those exact steps, people are not gonna go ahead and buy your affiliate products, right? So, the more honest you are, and the more trust you build to that person who comes across your YouTube content, the more likely they're going to be willing to actually buy the product you're promoting. So, option number one is selling, or excuse me, option number one is creating a review for example, let's just say I did my due diligence on Flat Belly fit, Fix and I decided after doing my due diligence, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little uh, like preview of how to do that. Let's just say I, I checked out Flat Belly Fix. Once I've ch checked out Flat Belly Fix, um, I thought it was an eight out of 10. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and create a review, whether it's just my face or whether it's actually going through the actual product. I'm basically gonna go to review it. I'm gonna say why it's an eight and why I believe so. And basically let people know, look, before you make a buying decision, watch this video till its entirety. They go through the, um, through the content and then you redirect them to another product, right? Second is, um, the second part is, okay, the second part is if you do not um, recommend that product, right? If you don't recommend that product, you can also create a review and Make sure that you're you're authentic and you're not lying. Don't just create negative reviews like a lot of people do out there just to get traffic to your affiliate office, right? It's gonna come back and it's gonna bite you in the butt. So create reviews around products that, um, or excuse me, create, if it's a negative review, if you think it's poor and it's trash, right? You're helping people by getting them to avoid it, right? But still, because these people know, like, and trust you, that's when you're gonna go ahead and promote your own affiliate link, right? So option one is you actually like it, so for example, let's just say I, I do a review on Flat Belly Fix. Again, I'm not endorsing this product. I'm gonna go ahead and do my due diligence, see if I like it, and I'll show you guys in a second how, how to actually do your research, but I'm gonna go ahead and best, basically press promote. They're gonna go ahead and give me an affiliate link. I'm gonna generate a hop link. And then what I can do is to make this a little bit prettier, I can go to bit.ly.com and I can go ahead and create a bit.ly link, post it right here, Create that bit.ly link, boom. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically copy this link. I'm gonna put that link in my description of my video. So, what I'm gonna do, if I honestly truly believe that this is a great product that can help people, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create an honest review. I'm gonna tell people why I believe this is the way I feel about this product. And then what I'm going to do is say, listen, now that you uh, have gained the knowledge to be able to make an educated decision, if you guys wanna go ahead and actually support me because I decided to actually uh, take the time aside to actually create this video for you, right? You can go to buy it through my affiliate link. Yes, I get compensated, but whether you guys buy it through the website or through my affiliate link, you guys don't pay anything extra. It's just supporting me and my channel for helping you guys out and it'll allow me to continue to create these honest, uh, true reviews, right? And then you go ahead and give them a call to action. You say click the button, or excuse me, click the link in the description, first thing in the description. You guys can get access to this product. It's gonna change your life, it's gonna help you guys out, blah, 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 right? So, positive review, you're actually gonna promote the affiliate product that you just made a review on. Second option, if you do your due diligence, you don't wanna recommend this type of product to people, um, I'm not gonna go ahead and actually bash any of these products, I don't know which one is good, which one is bad. The next step would literally just be, um, if you don't like this product, you say, look, um, I did my due diligence on it, here's the facts, and unfortunately, this is my honest opinion, whether you guys wanna move forward or not with it, feel free, but this is why I don't believe you should not take this. This isn't biased, I do positive review do, reviews, I do negative reviews, this is why I, this is a negative review. This is wrong with it, this is wrong with it. This, these people aren't ethical, these people are just after the night, blah, 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 blah. Then once you give them an honest review, at the end you're gonna go ahead and say, however, Obviously you watched to the end of this video because you're interested in weight loss products or you're interested in making money online products or you're interested in romance products. You're obviously looking for this specific solution to solve this problem. Now, even though this product isn't going to be able to do it for you that you've been searching for, I actually have uh, an option for you. Check this out. Click the link in the description 
to get access to my number one recommended make money online product. My number one recommended weight loss product. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna go in and send them to my landing page that I created. I'm gonna capture that lead. They're gonna get access to my affiliate offer on the back end of my funnel. I'm gonna be able to email market to them. But these people are going to be buyers. These people were looking for this specific solution before they decided to actually search for your product, right? So what, um, what I decided to do, right, is basically just give my honest opinion. Um, and after I gave my honest opinion and I didn't like it, I said, but if you guys want a solution, check this out. And then I recommended them to my affiliate products, right? Now, how do you guys do your due diligence, right? There's two ways you guys can actually create reviews on these products. The best way, right, is actually just buying the freaking product. Buy the product, go through it yourself, see if you like it, and that's why I poop cash, why I like him the best, because he doesn't just make up reviews. He actually buys the products, reviews them, and if he likes the product, he'll go ahead and um, keep it and then actually promote it as an affiliate. If he doesn't like the product, he'll tell you to stay away. If you notice, he says 100% avoid, five out of 10 stars, four out of 10 stars, whatever, right? Now, with that being said, what are the best practices when it comes to actually creating these reviews, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple of tips, right? So I'm gonna to go to my channel and I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys some reviews that I created. So basically, um, I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you Legendary Marketer. So I created a review, right, six months ago and I'm ranked number one for the keyword of this actual product, right? So number one is a thumbnail. Why I left Legendary Marketer, why I left Legendary Marketer, review. So what you wanna do is you wanna have the company's name and then you wanna have review. You wanna have that in your title. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys this, right? So why I left Legendary Marketer, review, right? So this is obviously, I actually do say positive things about this company, but I also let them know, listen, this is why I left, this is why I believe you should not continue to promote or endorse this product or avoid this product if you're interested in it, right? I just wanna help people, so I just gave my honest review. 20,000 views, right? Next is why I left Legendary Marketer, you wanna have the actual title in your, you want your title or the keyword that you're trying to rank your YouTube video for. For example, the keyword that I was trying to rank for was legendary market review. So an example, the keyword that you're trying to rank for is flat belly fix review or the red tea detox review or lean belly breakthrough review. You're trying to rank for that specific keyword. So you wanna make sure that that keyword is in your title. You wanna make sure that keyword is the first line of your description. You wanna make sure that keyword is in your actual tag, right? So legendary marketer reviews, legendary marketer training, legendary marketer review, um, legendary marketer products, right? So different tags that are related to your actual keyword that you're trying to rank your video for. Now, why is it important to actually rank for these specific keywords? Because when people type in, if you notice, I typed in legendary marketer and my video came up. So, um, and then best practices, as I stated before, well, one more thing to actually rank your video is I like to have a description explaining in my actual description uh, of what the video is about and you wanna make sure to actually have more keywords. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and be very uh, straightforward with you guys. First and foremost, um, just to show you guys that I'm not lying, right? Here's my actual review. It's a negative review. Um, I'm not bashing the company, I'm just giving my honest opinion. And then in the description, right, my new book, click here. Once they click there, they get access to my landing page, right? Best practice, I'm literally practicing what I'm preaching. I'm not telling you to do something that I'm not doing. Um, so they click my link in my description, I have a call to action at the end of my video. Boom, 20,000 views. I'm taking all those people who are interested in affiliate marketing and searching for this product because of my transparency and my authenticity and me recommending another product, right? They're willing to buy my stuff on the back end. Because of this video, I've made thousands of dollars selling other products, right? I just want you guys to know that. So this stuff is powerful, this is real. Um, and if you notice, right, we have, we have comments and the comments are good. Always appreciate the raw honesty, keep us posted on your next venture, right? So I have positive comments. Now, with that being said, um, how to actually create a thumbnail really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create a thumbnail. So I use something called Canva. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a design. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and, or actually to, for time's sake guys, I don't wanna waste your time. Um, but uh, what I would do, if you notice guys, I created all my thumbnails in Canva. Go literally on YouTube and type in how to create a YouTube video, or excuse me, how to create a YouTube thumbnail on Canva. It'll teach you guys how to do it. So you wanna make sure that your keywords actually, or the company logo is in your thumbnail. And you wanna make sure it stands out from everybody else, right? So those are the best practices to actually rank your videos. So that way, when people search, for example, Legendary Marketer Review, I might not be number one, but I'm number two, right? So for Legendary Marketer Review, I'm ranked number two. There's a lot of traffic, guys. Obviously, I have 20,000 views. There's a lot of people searching for this keyword. That's the power of ranking for these keywords with these reviews and refiltering or refocusing that traffic to your affiliate offers. I just showed you guys my links in my description. I made thousands of dollars off of this one video. This video took me 12 minutes. Look, if you guys actually wanna watch that video, feel free. Um, I may even uh, leave it in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Feel free, it's a 12 minute video. I'm not even behind the actual showing the back office or anything like that. I'm literally just sitting down in front of my camera like this and explaining in 12 minutes what I thought about the company. It's an honest review. I redirected people to my offer and boom, I made thousands of dollars in the process from one review video. So um, just to show you guys that this actually works both ways. So um, I know this is going a little bit longer than anticipated. But let me see, uh, YouTube Creator Studio. I wanna find out if I can find a positive review I did for them when I was actually endorsing them. All right, so what I wanted to do guys is I wanted to go ahead and show you guys both sides. I wanted to show you guys the negative and also the positive. So I literally ranked for, I was ranked number one for Legendary Marketer Review and Legendary Marketer um, when I actually created a positive review for them. Now, the reason why I created a positive review is because things were working out. I was making money, money with them and I actually believed in the product so I wanted to go in and serve people and help people so I positively endorsed them. Now, this actually isn't available. I'll actually leave this link in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and, um, and get access to this link to be able to see what a positive review looks like. And basically, some some uh, 